What's up guys, Carl here, Noble Training. Tonight's video is gonna be a quick, a quick run through on the shoulder and why it's so problematic for so many of us and you guys out there. So I was a pitcher for two decades. I absolutely have shoulder problems from chronic overuse, right? It wasn't an acute injury, just chronically throwing a lot, you get shoulder pain. But most people just get it other ways, whether they're pushing too much in the gym, a lot of shoulder press, a lot of bench press, a lot of push-ups, and not enough pulling. Now there's a strength imbalance. So if you think about it, you're pushing muscles. You're pushing muscles, big strong pec major, big strong anterior delt, um, your triceps, a lot of big strong muscles versus your, your lats really and your biceps. So they're a little outmatched in that sense. So there becomes an asymmetry, there becomes a weakness from push to pull. So that's one main, main problem. Um, even your program, so if you're doing it just, you know, most men in general, generally speaking, guys bench two, three, four times a week and do pulling once or twice a week. So right there, there's gonna be another problem. But the main focus is we're taught, um, in a, if you look at an anatomy book, the hip joint. So take the hip joint right here. Your femur, the biggest bone in your body, attaches your knee to your hip. That's a true ball and socket joint. So if you're picturing a tennis ball or a baseball, and a, it really locks into the hip socket. That's why it's so strong and powerful, hard to break. Rarely happens unless, God forbid, a car accident, a skiing accident, something, you know, high, high speed, high impact usually. The shoulder's a lot different. The shoulder's way more susceptible to injury because instead of that ball and socket joint, I mean, just think of all the motions the shoulder can go through. Flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, external rotation, internal rotation. And then on top of that, I can do it from different positions, right? So I know a couple of my PT buddies get a lot of business from people reaching in the back of their cars in that funny, awkward, internally or externally rotated position, grabbing for something behind their seat, and boom, they hurt the rotator cuff or sometimes the, the bicep head uh, or just the bursa where it's overuse. So that's why a lot of people struggle with abduction. Same thing, abduction, abduction. But a lot of people have pain doing that because most of the time it's one of your four uh, sits muscles, we call them. Supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. So it's four rotator cuff muscles there. We call them the sits. That's exactly what helps lock your shoulder in there. Because remember, it's not a true ball and socket. So on top of the muscles, the, the ligaments, the tendons, the bursa, and your three bones that connect, the, that, that make up the actual shoulder, are the, your, your wings, as you would call them, or your scapula, your clavicle, or your collarbone, and the upper arm bone, which is your humerus. Your humerus, so when you hit your elbow, that's why you know, people think, ah, it's funny, it's a funny bone. Your humerus, so now that probably makes sense to you if you didn't know that. So why are we so susceptible? Think of a small dinner plate and a softball. That's kind of your shoulder. So it's not like the hip, it's not a ball and socket, it's not true. So it's a lot different, a lot more susceptible to injury. Too much pushing, not enough pulling, strength and balance on top of that. And then we chronically overuse the shoulder, right? We don't take care of ourselves. We don't pull enough, we're not strong in our posterior chain like we are in our anterior chain. Uh, and another reason, simply if you're just standing and you're internally rotated, there's something called subacromial space, which is where your supraspinatus kind of lays if you internally rotate and protract, that closes the subacromial space just ever so slightly. So now over, over weeks, over months, over years, you're slowly getting rubbing. And that's going to create inflammation, and inflammation creates pain and, and fluid. So that's no good. That's why people get shoulder pain. So just your simp simply just sitting up and having better posture can open that subacromial space and have less pain over time, chronically. Another thing is when people grab weights, I see it all the time, and this is usually a female-dominated issue. It may be a neural issue, we're not 100% sure, but when you grab weights, there's stimulus, so you, you shrug, you ever so slightly shrug. Again, shrugging will close that subacromial space a little bit and could create impingement. Mix and match that with internal rotation, shrugging, and now you go to bench, you have a recipe for disaster, or even worse, shoulder press. You watch people shoulder press and they can't lift their arm over their head, that's one of the first things, if you ever notice, 99% of the clients that walk through the door, should be 100, I'm sure I missed a few, but I doubt it. I wanna see how they press. I wanna see, can you just raise your arm over your head? If you're here, should I give you a barbell now? Of course not, but that's what a lot of coaches do. So if you can't just put your arms over your head comfortably, relatively easily, there's no reason you should be pressing heavy barbells and, and doing snatches or you know pressing anything until we fix that issue. 
So again, ego may be to blame for some of the shoulder issues also. Um, so the muscle imbalance, not doing enough pulling work, not thinking about your posture, um, all contribute to shoulder issues. The dinner plate and the softball analogy all contribute. So you got to really take care of your shoulders. You know, there's certain exercises that are on my YouTube channel, which you can follow after this video, you know, working on external rotational stuff, um, strengthening those rotator cuffs, the posterior delt. But basically, get stronger in your posterior chain. Anything you can't see in the mirror is really what you should dominate in the gym. So give it a shot.